What's up guys, it's Danta. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the glory of the Cataclysm Hero achievement. Now, this achievement will award you with the reins of the Volcanic Stone Drake. It's a decent looking mount, it's basically just a dragon with some crystals on it, but, you know, it can be worse. So, first of all, I know that this achievement is pretty old, it's pretty easy to get as well, but... Um, there are just a couple of these achievements that can be annoying. Mostly one achievement is an achievement that keeps people away from getting this mount. That's the first thing that I want to talk about right now before I'm going over all these achievements. If you want to solo all of them, it's possible. You can easily do that. I did it. I'll show you guys how I did it. But um, the Crushing Bones and Crackling Skulls achievement can only be soloed easily if you have a level 43 to 45 character, I'd say. If you don't have a character around that level, try to get a friend and it will make things a lot easier. Now let's finally talk about these achievements. So the first achievement is called Pardon the Night. Now all you gotta do is just nuke down Baron Ashbury and you will have your achievement. Next up is To the Ground. Now To the Ground is very easy as well. Just zerk down the boss and you will have it. Alright guys, so the last achievement that we have to do in Shadow Van Keep is called Bullet Time. Now this achievement is very easy as well. All we have to do is aggro the boss, jump down and wait. Now, eventually he will start summoning these ghouls. After he has summoned them, he will start casting Pistol Barrage. All you have to do is just let him Pistol Barrage down his own ghouls and that's actually all there is to it. He has to do that twice because he has to kill 12 ghouls. Now, whenever he has killed 12 ghouls, you can just kill the boss and there you have it, your achievement. Okay, so ready for raiding is just, uh, well, nuke the boss. That's basically it. Okay guys, so next up we have Red Pack. Now Red Pack is very easy, but the only thing you gotta be careful for is that you don't kill the boss. The way this works is that you will eventually be grabbed by the boss and he will smash you against these logs. Now whenever he does that, you will see these rats spawn underneath the logs. Um, basically what you have to do for this achievement is kill 20 of these rats. There are a couple of ways you can do this. You can make a macro to target these rats and just use a single target ability to kill them. Or if you have something like an heroic leap or any ability that can instantly just nuke down anything without leaving any shit on the ground because that would kill the boss right um you can just get smashed into the logs immediately go to the other side of the room and with the boss following you and not being near these rats at all you can just use your aoe on these rats immediately so what i did was just heroic leap onto them and they would immediately just all die <laughs> um that was the easiest way in my opinion. Now don't forget to track the achievement itself because if you don't do that and you are missing one rat before you kill the boss, you will probably get mad. So don't forget to track your achievements as well, guys. The next achievement is called Prototype Prodigy. All you gotta do is just zerk down the robot and you'll have your achievement. So for the next achievement, what you want to do is unequip all your gear, hit the boss once and basically it will go into a different phase. Now, in this phase, there will be these at spawning. All you want to do is just sit tight and wait till you see your achievement pop up. That's all there is to it. So for the achievement called I'm on a diet, all you have to do is wait for Captain Cookie to throw out some garbage out of his pot and just eat it. So just click only on one green thing and then just nuke him down. That's how you get your achievement. So for the next achievement, which is called Vigorous Van Cleef Vindicator, all you have to do is just click on the note that's laying on the ground after you've killed Cookie and basically just make your way back towards the ship and kill Van Cleef. That's all you have to do. Okay guys, so next up is Rotten to the Core. Now, Rotten to the Core is a very easy achievement as well. All we gotta do is just pull all the devoured followers, take them over towards the boss, leave them all down, make sure we don't kill the boss while cleaving because, well then the achievement will fill so that's all you gotta do kill 60 of these ads while the boss is engaged and you will have your achievement another very easy achievement to get all you gotta do is just nuke down the boss this achievement here which is called straw that broke the camel's back is another just you know nuke down the boss achievement but this time you gotta nuke down the boss while you're riding a camel so there are these camels scattered around in the room where the boss is just get on one nuke the boss with it that's basically all you have to do so faster than speed of light is another easy achievement to get all you have to do is just talk to bren and whenever he opens the door you just gotta rush over towards these four elementals that are sitting in each corner of the room just kill these elementals and you will have your achievement.
All right, so the next achievement is basically a nuke down the boss achievement. So just zerk him down and you will have it. Okay, so the next achievement is called Acrocalypse Now. So this achievement is very easy as well. All you have to do is just aggro the boss, stand still, wait till you have around 20 of these crocodiles around you, and then just start moving a little bit. Now, whenever the boss is going to cast Dust Flail, he will stay in place, so that's the perfect time to just kill off these adds without killing the boss itself. Whenever you've killed 20 of these crocodiles, you can nuke down the boss and you will have your achievement. Alright, so next up is Kill It With Fire. Now, this achievement is very easy as well. All you gotta do is unequip all your gear, engage the boss, don't hit him yet. Just wait a little bit till you see these fiery puddles spawn. And whenever you see around one, two, or maybe even three of these puddles, just right click the boss. Whenever you do that, he will go into his second phase, if you don't kill him. So make sure you don't kill him. Whenever he is in his second phase, you will see a purple bird, a purple phoenix to be precise. That phoenix will start spawning these shadowy copies of you. And you have to get three of these copies into the fire. And whenever you do that, their name will change to a burning soul. So whenever you see their name change to burning soul, you gotta right click them, kill them. So you have to kill three of these burning souls. That's actually all there is to it. It's very easy, but just make sure that you don't kill the boss in one hit. Also, don't kill the bird. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Alright, so the next achievement that we are going to do, which is also the last achievement in this dungeon, thank god, <laughs> um, is called Headed South. So, for this achievement, all you have to do is engage the boss, wait till there are three of these melee adds up, and then just kill these three melee adds at the same time. Now, whenever you do that, you will get a debuff, which will stack up to three. You need three stacks before you get this achievement. So, whenever you have three stacks of the debuff, kill the boss, and there is your achievement. Next up is extra credit bonus stage. Now this achievement is very easy. Basically what you have to do is click on five of these golden orbs that are scattered around the entire dungeon and then you will have your achievement. No static at all, just requires you to zerk down the boss and that's it. Alright, so for this achievement, all we have to do is engage the boss, kill the purple troc, whenever you do that, kill the boss and you will have your achievement. So for the last achievement in this dungeon, all we have to do is just nuke down the boss and that's all there is to it. Okay, so next up is Old Faithful. So this achievement is easy as well. All you gotta do is just unequip your gear and right click the boss. Whenever you do that, she will start phase two. She will basically start channeling this ability for like a minute or so. And whenever she is doing that, there will be these adds spawning. Now you can kill the ranged adds. Those are the female Nagas. You gotta keep the melee ones alive. Now whenever she is done with channeling her ability, she will start putting down these gazers on the ground Basically what you have to do is just put these melee adds on it and eventually that gazer will explode. It will deal damage to the ad and you gotta do that three times because the ad has to die from that gazer. That's basically it. So the next achievement which is called Prince of Tides is very easy as well. All we have to do is talk to Neptalon, do the encounter, so just kill everything except for the behemoth. If you kill the behemoth it will be over for you so you won't be able to do the achievement. So keep that one alive. Make sure it doesn't attack Neptunon, because Neptunon will probably die eventually, so just use something like a taunt or anything to keep aggro on it. Now after a while you will get big as hell. And whenever you get big as hell, you want to smash the living shit out of that behemoth and you will have your achievement. Okay guys, let's talk about crushing bones and crackling skulls. So first of all, if you have a lower level character around 43 to 47, pick that character to do this achievement with because it will just spare you a lot of depression and getting mad and throwing shit around. So get a lower level character. If you don't have a lower level character, ask in your guild, ask a friend and well, 
if you are playing Alliance, then uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no one else to ask, probably. <laughs> anyway, um, what I did was I got on my level 45 Demon Hunter. I turned my back towards the boss. And every time he started casting Quake, I just pressed my sit macro. Now, whenever you do that, he will guaranteed spawn a ad. Basically, what you want to do is you want to do that five times. And whenever you have five ads up, you just want to right click the boss. Whenever you do that, he should be underneath 60% HP and he will go into his second phase and he will start slaughtering everything around him. So basically, he kills five of these ads. Now that's perfect because we want him to kill 10 of them. So whenever he kills the first 5 adds, you just want to do the same thing as you did in the beginning. Sit in the quake, wait till 5 adds are up again and then right click him again. Now whenever he is under 30% HP, he will do the same ability that he did before and again kill these 5 adds. Now whenever he has killed those 5 adds again, you will get your achievement and you can just kill the boss and forget about this entire achievement. So Arrested Development is very easy as well. All you have to do is just engage the boss, sit and wait, and eventually these three minions will start transforming into these big guys. Kill these big guys. After that, kill Korla. That's basically all you have to do. Next up is too hot to handle. All you gotta do is just aggro the boss, made him stand in the fire for like 15 stacks of heat and after that just kill him all right so for the last achievement all i gotta say is nuke him so guys that's how you get your glory of the cataclysm hero achievement so congratulations with your stone drake <laughs> anyway i hope that this video was easy and simple to follow i also hope that it helped some of you out um if it did and you want to support the channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like the video and if you have any questions or even suggestions just leave it in the comment section below and i'll get back to you so with all that said guys that's it for me and i'll see you guys in the next video bye